could we finally get a proper Wolverine in the new X-Men reboot for the MCU? With the multiverse saga wrapping up in Avengers Secret Wars and rumors of a soft reboot afterward, it seems like the perfect opportunity. Following the comic book storyline, a new universe could pave the way for a fresh lineup of characters, including the X-Men. Since Disney acquired Fox, there have been hints of X-Men in the MCU, building up to a big moment with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine rumored to return in Deadpool and Wolverine. This could be his final Marvel appearance, setting the stage for a more faithful portrayal of the iconic character. Hugh Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine is undoubtedly iconic, but it's worth noting that it deviates from the character's original depiction in the comics. Jackman's Wolverine became the face of Fox's X-Men franchise, appearing in numerous films and earning praise for his portrayal of the gruff mutant. However, some fans argue that Jackman's interpretation doesn't fully capture Wolverine's essence. In the comics, Wolverine isn't meant to be the central figure of the X-Men team. Rather, the group functions as an ensemble with no single member dominating the spotlight. Additionally, Wolverine's physical appearance in the comics differs from Jackman's interpretation, with the actor's tall stature and rugged charm diverging from the character's traditionally shorter, more rugged depiction. While Jackman's Wolverine will undoubtedly be remembered as a defining portrayal in Marvel's cinematic history, there's room for a more faithful adaptation of the character in future iterations of the X-Men franchise within the MCU. In Marvel Comics, Wolverine is notably shorter than Hugh Jackman's portrayal, standing at 5'3 compared to Jackman's 6'3 stature. Nice suit. Henry, this is Logan. He's um... Wolverine. I hear you're quite an animal. Look who's talking. This size difference isn't just a trivial detail, it's integral to understanding Wolverine's character. His compact build contrasts sharply with larger adversaries like Sabretooth and the Hulk, underscoring his ferocity and tenacity in battle. Personality-wise, Jackman's Wolverine often assumes a leadership role, as evidenced in X2 when he takes charge of evacuating the X-Mansion students. While Marvel's Wolverine can display leadership qualities and share his wisdom with younger mutants, he's not typically portrayed as the level-headed leader that Jackman's version embodies. Additionally, Wolverine's dynamic with Cyclops is meant to represent a balance of opposing forces, with Cyclops as the disciplined leader and Wolverine as the rebellious outsider. However, Jackman's Wolverine tends to be more likable and charismatic than his comic book counterpart altering the dynamics of their relationship in the movie franchise. It's crucial for the MCU to steer clear of replicating Hugh Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine to ensure freshness and authenticity. After more than two decades of Jackman's iconic performance, Marvel needs to offer a distinct take on the character that aligns more closely with the Wolverine of the comics. This move not only showcases Marvel's ability to faithfully adapt its characters, but also allows for other X-Men, like Cyclops, to take on more prominent roles, as intended in the source material. Marvel has already shown promise in this direction by delivering Jackman's most comic-accurate portrayal in Deadpool and Wolverine. However, striving to match or surpass Jackman's legacy isn't necessary. There's ample opportunity to explore a shorter, more volatile and less central version of Wolverine that better aligns with his comic book counterpart. While Jackman's portrayal has left an undeniable mark on the character, Marvel has the chance to craft a rendition that resonates with audiences in its own unique way, avoiding direct comparison to Jackman's interpretation. It's a challenge, but one that could ultimately result in a Wolverine that's both faithful to the comics and compelling in its own right. But who will play the proper Wolverine in a proper Wolverine movie in the new X-Men reboot for the MCU? Well, we've rounded up some of our own suggestions. Each of the actors listed here would bring something very different to the role of Wolverine and, most importantly, do the X-Men justice. First, we have Jeremy Allen White. He has gained recognition for his role as Philip Lip Gallagher in Shameless, but it's his acclaimed performance in the FX series The Bear that has really solidified his reputation. With a string of awards to his name, White has proven his acting chops. Recently, he showcased his physicality in The Iron Claw alongside Zac Efron, sparking speculation that he could be a fitting choice for Wolverine. White exudes the aura of an outsider, a quality that aligns well with Wolverine's character. His Calvin Klein advertising campaign demonstrates that he possesses the same physical presence as Hugh Jackman. 
While Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine set a high standard, we believe White has the potential to step into those big shoes and make the character his own. Moving on, we have Jared Kiso, a fellow Canadian like Wolverine himself, could easily become a fan favorite choice to embody the character on screen. Widely recognized for his roles as Wayne in the comedy series Letter Kenny and as Ben Chartier in the drama series 192, Kiso has earned praise for his versatile performances. His work in Letter Kenny, which he co-created, writes, and stars in, has garnered numerous awards and nominations, showcasing his talent and range as an actor. Similar to Hugh Jackman's initial casting as Wolverine, Kiso might seem like an unexpected choice for the role, but that could work to his advantage. His relative anonymity could allow him to fully immerse himself in the character without any preconceived notions, potentially solidifying his status as a movie star while portraying Wolverine. With his impressive track record and Canadian heritage, Kiso has all the makings of a compelling choice to bring Logan to life on the big screen. Next is Dacre Montgomery. Dacre Montgomery has evolved considerably since his breakout role in Stranger Things, where he earned acclaim for his compelling portrayal. His stint in the ill-fated Power Rangers movie also showcased his potential for action-packed roles. At just 29 years old, Montgomery has a promising future ahead of him, and tackling the role of Wolverine could be a significant opportunity for him. With his talent and versatility, he could bring a fresh perspective to the character and make it his own across various film and television projects. Marvel Studios, keen on capitalizing on Wolverine's enduring popularity, might see Montgomery as an ideal candidate to take on the iconic role. Entrusting such a pivotal character to a rising star like Montgomery could inject new energy and excitement into the character, paving the way for an exciting chapter in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The top two are Daniel Radcliffe and Taron Edgerton. Daniel Radcliffe and Taron Edgerton are both intriguing choices for the role of Wolverine in the MCU. Daniel Radcliffe has undergone a significant transformation since his days as Harry Potter, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. While some may have reservations about his suitability for the role, Radcliffe has shown on-screen physicality and could bring a fresh perspective to Wolverine's character. If he can embody Logan's physique and intimidating presence, he could offer a compelling new interpretation of the X-Man. There are even rumors of his potential appearance in Deadpool and Wolverine, which could either solidify or dismiss his candidacy for the role. On the other hand, Taron Edgerton has garnered attention for his performances in various films, showcasing his range and talent. With his striking appearance and acting ability, Edgerton could excel as Wolverine in the MCU. However, he has expressed reluctance to take on the role, which could pose a challenge for Marvel Studios in convincing him to reconsider. Ultimately, both actors have the potential to bring something unique to the character of Wolverine, and it will be interesting to see how the casting process unfolds for this iconic role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I have one more, Daphne Keen. Making Laura Kinney the main Wolverine in the MCU is definitely a bold and intriguing idea, with Hugh Jackman's portrayal of Wolverine leaving such an indelible mark on the character, it's understandable that some may find it challenging for any actor to step into his iconic role. However, taking a fresh approach by centering the story around Laura Kinney, also known as X-23, could offer a compelling new direction for the character. Rather than simply being a gender-swapped version of Wolverine, Laura would have her own unique story and identity as the new Wolverine in the MCU. Well, that's it for today. Who do you think would make the best Wolverine? Or do you have another actor entirely in mind? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. We appreciate your support, and we can't wait to continue this conversation with you. We'll see you in the next video.